Servants of the Emperor, Briggs O here, and in this video I'm going over the Secret Damnation Hard Mode and how to complete it. So I'm not going to go into massive detail on this because I want to get this video out there so people can try and do it, but I will be going through what worked well for me, uh, the team composition, the builds, the roles, and a couple of tips and tricks that I picked up along the way to get this completed. So first of all, I'll go through the team composition. We did have two Ogrins, we had a Zealot and we had a Veteran. The Ogrins were running a Gunlugger Ogrin and a Taunt-based Ogrin. The Veteran used a Plasma Gun, and me as a Zealot, I was using an Eviscerator, and I was still using Martyrdom, which is a little bit different from what I've seen, but it worked well for me, and it was what I was comfortable playing with. That's a big thing that I want to caveat as well, is use something that you're used to. Uh, if you do want to build into these roles, that's absolutely fine, but there is a bit of a learning curve with some of them, so sometimes it's better to adapt to the build that you already have and just pick up some of the core talents so that you can do what some of these builds are aimed to achieve. All of the builds are going to be linked down into the description. Massive credit to um, Choco B for one of his Ogrins, uh, Hank, his Karnak killer and the Gunlugger that we were running. That was very similar to what we used. Um, the Veteran I actually had an in-depth conversation with and he uh, had run it multiple times. He came in to help us out. In this boss fight, everyone has a specific role. The Zealot's role, which is what I was playing, uh, was to defuse bombs, kill elites, and mainly do damage to Ronin, keeping his shields down a lot of the time uh, so he wasn't actively throwing grenades around and shooting people. We then had the Veteran. They are a bit of an elite killer. They were to take down all of the crushes, rages, and things like that with their plasma gun, and also let the Ogrins replenish their Ogrin bombs. Uh, or their Ogren grenades, you know, the ones that are like big nuke grenades, as they are very, very useful when you have swarms of rages come to you. The Ogren will use the Attention Seeker talent to push Rinda to take her attention all of the time and keep your shields up, but you do have to be careful as there are swarms of elites that can then attack that Ogren from behind, so having the Plasma Vet almost being the floating person to take out all of the elites really worked well for us. The second Ogren um, is the Gunlugger Ogren, and they're used to melt through shields whenever one person's shields go down they should activate their ability and start shooting into the other twin shield uh, that way they're, they're both damageable and then it's the zealot's job to then get in there with the dps also works well with the veteran build that we've got because they have focused target and what we want to try and do here is get rid of ronin as fast as possible as he is the most problematic with those grenades and filling everyone up with corruption um so there's two main objectives is to take down Ronin and also to clear elites. Like I said before, the Ogren bombs are extremely helpful in doing that and the veteran's focus target really helps us do DPS uh, on uh, Ronin. What I'm going to go through now is what we did step by step to try and achieve our victory. I do want to stipulate here though that RNG is a thing. Uh, the game will sometimes just spawn 15 rages so there's nothing you can do about it. I'm not salty, you can probably tell. So the first thing that you want to do is activate your Shredder and run directly to Ronin if you're a Zealot. Attack into him and activate Fury the Faithful, pretty much destroying his shields right off the bat. The Gunlugger Ogrin will then uh, activate their ability to melt through Rinder's shields. The Ogrin will then switch and Focus Target will be applied to Ronin and the Zealot will then activate Shredder once again and put it straight into Ronin, activating Fury of the Faithful for a second time. If this is done correctly, you can pretty much get into the first gas phase. For the first gas phase, it is just pray to the RNG gods that they don't spawn 150 crushes behind you. The gas phases aren't too hard, just make sure that you have two people focusing the horde and two people focusing on the elites inside of the horde, and that normally works out. The second phase is a little bit harder. Normally, this is where I would say that an Ogryn drops one of their big nuke grenades to clear off a lot of the elites that are left over on the floor. So you can go back to directly doing the kind of first tactic, which is that the Zealot takes down Ronin's shields, the Ogryn takes down Rinder's shields, and then you just continue to DPS. Hopefully, if you can do this, you get to a gas phase, but sometimes it doesn't always go to plan. You need to stop what you're doing, focus on elites, and the way that you want to do that is just by calling out to your team. Letting people know what's on the field really helps because it might shift their priorities, and a lot of the times you do want to prioritize the elites. Three rages can take one, one person down if they start hitting them from behind, so it's really important that they're targeted. So to sum it all up, the main thing that you want to do is that the Zealot wants to focus on Ronin, continuously doing Shredder attacks into them as much as you possibly can. The Gunner Ogryn is there to break the shields and then focus Ronin after that. The Veteran is looking to use their Plasma Gun to generally support the team, get rid of Elites, and also to put the ammo crate down so that the Ogryns can replace their nuke grenades. With this composition, this means that you do have four nuke grenades in total, 
and there are three phases to the fight. So normally dropping a nuke after the gas phase works out very, very well to kind of clear the field so you can start DPSing it. A general tip as well is to watch your stamina. If you do run through one of Ronin's grenades with zero stamina, you will get caught in it and it will do a lot of corruption to you. My advice would be to skirt on the edges of the uh, bombs and not go directly through them unless you really have to. And if that is the case, then check your stamina, make sure that you've got enough to make sure that you can get to the other side of it. Otherwise you will take a lot of corruption damage. Another piece of advice as well, I've kind of already have mentioned it, but is to make sure that you're doing callouts. Letting people know what's on the field does really help. This is something that I'm guilty of not doing. Sometimes it's really easy just to go into concentration mode and not communicate, uh, but communication is key. Um, so I really recommend doing it as it does help you out. Another tip as well is not to get disheartened by being defeated. You know, this took me quite a few times. I'm not the best player at this game. However, I do feel that when you've got in with the right team and you're all on a similar skill level, it does really help. Overall, this took me over 20 tries, I think, to try and get this done. I was using the official Dark Tide Discord as an LFG, which was really helpful as I met loads of really nice people that we all tried it with. You also get a couple of golden people on there that just come to help out that have already completed it, which is really nice of them. But otherwise, these are the tactics that I found worked for me. I wish you good luck if you are trying to run it. Like I said before, all of the builds that we'll be using or similar builds to what we'll be using are down below in the description. If you found this video useful, please like it and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. It would mean the world to me. Um, but otherwise, have a nice day, and once again, I wish you luck. RNG is a fickle beast. Ogrins pick up ammo to get grenades. Just dropping one after this might really help. Nice grenade. Bring shield down. I'm on Rodin. He's dead, yeah. he's dead. Nice. Very nice. Alright, keep composure, keep composure. I'll yeah. Have. Drop bomb, drop Algrim bomb. Bomb is gone. Nice. Nice, okay. Focus on her. Rage is about. More molars, more molars. Come down. I'll get you up. I'll get you up. You. Shake it. No. Yeah. <laughs> Watch out, Rages. Throwing grenade in there. I don't have any more grenades. I'll deal with the Rages, don't worry. Hand somewhere. Careful. I got you. She's dead. There you go. Oh, nice. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, boy. <laughs> Tiger leader comes it's not over yet. Yeah. Oh, it's not over yet. Almost there. It's not German. But yet. it's basically. There you go. Easy. Uh, All right. Nice work, everyone. Yeah. That was sick. Thanks for the help, dude. Yeah, man. That's all right. Yeah. Anytime. I'm oh, helping everyone. Yeah. Uh, you should know that this is my first uh, Domination game with Ogryn. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <there you> go. <laughs>